Okay, putting everything together. The important thing to remember is layers. So you should have a background on one layer only. So I want my animation to last a few seconds. So I want to copy the artwork on this layer so that it doesn't disappear. So if I wanted to copy it up until about frame 150, I would need to put a keyframe, which is function F6, and then I know that throughout that animation, my background will be there. I've drawn a car and another layer, and I want the car to move from left to right. So if it's a movement, I need to do a motion tween, and you should have watched the other video, and you'll know that any motion tween the object you've drawn must be a symbol and the way that you do that is to modify convert to symbol I've already done that as you can see it's got a little blue box around it which means it's a symbol so all I would need to do is to click somewhere in here and right click create motion tween uh, you can make this longer or shorter I want it to last about 85 seconds so what I need to do is at the end, I want to select the end point where I want my car to finish. So the car is going to drive along here and then finish somewhere over there. Okay, so as you can see, it drives along there. I now want a new layer. So go down here, new layer. This one is going to be where the birds fly. Okay, so I need to just draw a bird. Okay, I'm just going to select that and I could use a shape tween. Okay, I could draw a blank keyframe in here, which would be F7, and I could change the shape. All right, and I could keep putting in blank keyframes and changing the shape. There is another option you can do. It's called a nested uh, animation, or a nested tween, I think. Uh, if I convert this to a symbol, let's call it bird, it's a movie clip. Oh. Okay, if I now double click this, you'll notice that it's in its own timeline. Don't worry about that. Now what I can do is to uh, put all the animations within this so the animations are contained within the movie clip. Okay, it just cleans up your timeline a bit. So what I'm going to do is every few frames I'm going to uh, copy this. I'm going to put um, function F6. Just going to move it down a bit. Change the shape. function F6, keyframe, move it down, click away, change the shape, the reason I've chosen shape tween is because it's a bird, it's going to flap its arms, As it gets lower, it gets larger. Okay, you get the idea. So in between those, we need to create a shape tween. Now to go back to my original scene, I just simply go scene. Okay, and if I go to the test movie, okay, it's not a great example, but you, you get the idea.